Have you ever wondered how cancer drugs are developed? This video provides a brief overview of how bioluminescent research tools can be used in drug discovery. The uncontrolled growth of cancer cells is typically caused by genetic mutations that result in the inappropriate activity of proteins important for cell signaling. Cancer drugs often act by blocking that inappropriate activity. A significant challenge in cancer drug discovery is to quantify the effectiveness of new lead compounds. It is also essential for scientists to determine the mechanisms used by cancer drugs to kill cancer cells. Scientists take advantage of a natural biochemical reaction used by fireflies that utilizes the luciferase protein, luciferin, and the cellular energy source ATP to investigate a lead compound's cell killing effectiveness and the biochemical signaling mechanisms it uses to kill the cancer cells. To measure whether a lead compound can kill cancer cells, the cells are grown in microwell plates. The compounds are added to test wells, incubated, and then excess luciferase and luciferin are added to all wells. The amount of light, or luminescence, generated is determined by the amount of ATP present in the cells, which is a function of the number of viable live cells. Effective cancer cell killing will be revealed by lower luminescence due to a loss of ATP upon cell death. Once a lead compound is found that kills cancer cells, scientists often want to know if the compound acts via apoptosis or some other mechanism of cell death. Active caspase 3 is the key biomarker of apoptosis. By adding a caspase 3 cleavable luciferin substrate, followed by excess ATP and luciferase, we are able to quantify the amount of active caspase 3 present, which correlates to the amount of luminescent light generated. Another question drug discovery scientists need to understand is which cell signaling pathways are modulated by the lead compound. They create recombinant cancer cells where a luciferase gene has been fused to a key cell viability response element, such as NF-kappa-B. The fused luciferase gene is then transcribed and translated to form luciferase. Luciferase is now available for reaction in the cytoplasm in these recombinant cells. Next, the recombinant cell lines are treated with the lead compound. If the target pathway is inhibited by the compound, the production of luciferase will be stopped. To quantify the compound's effectiveness, excess ATP and luciferin are added. Reduction in luminescence indicates inhibition of that signaling pathway, helping to identify the compound's protein target, in this case, a protein kinase. All of these luminescent cell-based assays provide critical information for evaluating and selecting a final lead compound prior to animal and human clinical trials. To learn more about Promega's biologically relevant drug discovery tools, visit Promega.com.